next guest is one of the celebrities appearing at Fanboy. Steve Whitmire is a puppeteer who has provided many voices of characters we know and love. Uh, welcome, welcome to the show, Steve. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, there, oh, you thank you. there you go. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Oh, fantastic. Well, we're thrilled that you're here. You were just telling us you've only been to three events like this, and it's your yeah. first time in East Tennessee, so we are thrilled to have you. Thank you. Thank you. I've spent a lot of time in East Tennessee, but not at Comic Cons. <laughs> I'm actually from Atlanta, so and oh, my fantastic. wife is originally from Tennessee, was born and raised here, so oh, we really? oh, nice. make our way through here once in a while. That's a bit awesome. of a, a yeah. homecoming. <laughs> now, when, when you get a chance at like events like this to go and to meet fans and things like that, how what does that mean to you? What does that do for you? Well, it's great. You know, I was a part of the Muppets for very close to 40 years and um, you know as you know when you're in a studio there's you've got your crew around and people that you love to be with but it's not the same as the fans mm. and to have the chance to meet those people face to face and they love the Muppets and they love the, you know many other things it's not just the Muppets that I've done over the years and to hear that from them is really special. What's the one thing that fans ask you the most when it comes to your career as a puppeteer? Oh my goodness. Well, about 90% of the time they have, they don't ask, but they, they offer their Kermit impression. <laughs> which I don't, good? Uh, yeah, I never do it for them. They, they, they do it for me, which is great. You know, it takes the pressure off. <laughs> no, I, I think as a puppeteer, it's such a, it's such an interesting profession. Like what, what are no. some of the challenges that you have to deal with that people might not realize? Well, you know, I don't think people really grow up and generally thinking they're going to be a puppeteer. It's an odd <laughs> career choice. Um, but I was obsessed by the Muppets from the time I was 10 years old. And the, the probably the hardest thing is crowding these big guys who, who take up a lot of space into this tiny little space with these characters above our heads because we're working with our arms in the air. Uh -huh. Um, so it's, you know, it can get pretty cumbersome and we're running into each other a lot. It's probably, probably good, like what, shoulder workout or something oh, like that? Oh, definitely. It's definitely the shoulder. Yeah, it's all <laughs> in the shoulder. You said 40 years with the Muppets. How did yeah. you get involved in, in puppeteering? Well, I was an absolutely obsessed Muppet fan as a kid. Um, and I, when I was about 18 years old, I went to a puppetry convention. They have these things uh -huh. in Atlanta and met Carol Spinney, who's the man who does Big Bird, who has also been at Fanboy, I think, last year. Uh -huh. um, and Carol kind of recruited me in, said Jim was looking, Jim Henson was looking for new people and I should probably contact him and it sort of went from there. Snowballed from there. I what came in at a great her. time because it was in the middle of the height of the popularity of the Muppet Show, the original show. Mm -hmm. And Jim was only looking for a couple of people and I really got to work at the feet of these real masters within the world of puppetry and learn from each of them. Because you're right, I mean, so many of us grew up on the Muppets. Yeah, um, yeah. So it really is iconic for a lot of people. Sure. And we're just thrilled that you would uh, give your time to, oh, well, to thank meet you. with fans. Well, who are you most excited to see at Fanboy? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, Lou Diamond Phillips, I'm a big fan of him. Oh, okay. Uh, I think Jonathan Frakes is pretty neat. I, I love the Star Trek Next Generation <laughs> cast, uh, Gates McFadden. and I mean, the list goes on. It's it's an, just an amazing thing to see these people in person. I'm just a big fan, too. You know. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I know. You're going to be going around asking for autographs yeah. and pictures. No, well, yeah. nobody knows. <laughs> who we are because we're behind the puppets you know it's a different <laughs> thing we get to be fans too what's next for you after a fanboy are you working on some projects i am i'm trying to uh, start a few projects of my own I, as i say i'm from atlanta there's a, just a ton of production in atlanta right now and i actually get to sleep in my own bed and pursue some of this stuff which is great you know so traveling all over the world great yeah fantastic well we appreciate you stopping by thank Thrilled you guys. to meet you truly is a pleasure and we hope you enjoy these next three days yes i will awesome. thank you